Hi everyone, this is me Bilal here from microcontrollerslab.com. This video is a simulation of soft starter using PIC microcontroller for single phase induction motor. So let's start with the introduction of soft starter. As you know, induction motor takes high current at the start, which is also known as inrush current. This inrush current is basically more than the rated capacity of motor induction motor so this inrush current may damage the motor windings permanently so we need to have a device which can control the inrush current or starting current of induction motor so we use soft starter or smooth starter of induction motor to control its in inrush current or starting current to control the inrush current we usually use soft starter so what does soft starter will do it will limit the voltage at the start and then it will increase the voltage gradually from low voltage to high voltage for example in this circuit diagram we are using lamp and voltage voltmeter as a demonstration because induction motor single phase induction motor is not available in proteus so you will see the voltage applied across this lamp will increase uh, gradually from low voltage to high voltage so when the voltage will be low at the start motor will take only low current and gradually voltage will increase and mo motor current will increase also in gradually uh, sorry gradually so there will be no in inrush current and mo motor will be operate in the safe mode and the and the motor windings will also be safe so basically soft starter is used for protection of induction motor in case in case of uh, inrush current so let's see the introduction of this circuit diagram first of all this is our power supply and then we need to use a transformer here step down transformer which can convert this 220 volt into 12 volt so for simulation purpose I'm not using any step down transformer here so when you make this circuit diagram practically you need to connect a step down transformer here and then we rectify this voltage and this is basically a zero crossing detection circuit at every zero crossing we will get a pulse at D2 and we will read this pulse with the help of this 16FA77A microcontroller and then we will use using this up to isolator to provide signal to this thyristor which is basically a back to back SCR or silicon control rectifier and this operating range of this control rectifier or thyristor depends on the uh, on the firing angle for example if the firing angle is maximum so voltage will be lost at the output of this lamp if firing angle is minimum or you can say we fire the angle up right after the zero crossing we will get full voltage across this uh, lamp so what we will do we will first we will provide a loss firing ang uh, maximum firing angle and then we will st uh, start decreasing this firing angle and voltage will start increasing now let's send the simulation and see how it works as you can see this is basically a voltage as you can see voltage is increasing and as you can see firing angle this is basically a firing angle firing angle is also decreasing and voltage is increasing and you can also check it on this voltmeter and after the after some time you are getting a full wave so as you can see once the motor reaches best uh, reach steady state uh, speed and it will start getting a steady state current it will start getting a full voltage now let's again on the simulation and you can check it for example this is uh, let me show you again this wave is uh, our power supply wave this is uh, the voltage across the lamp through this thyristor this is a firing angle as you can see right now after this zero crossing firing angle is minimum because we want a full voltage now 
and this is a zero crossing signal so now let's again run the simulation and you will see uh, you can see the a uh, voltage across the voltmeter is increasing gradually as you can see voltage is increasing and after this uh, this uh, this will be waveform will become full and you will get a full voltage of 220 volt across this line as you can see now we're getting a full AC wave here and full voltage here and as you can see now let me show you again and you will check first the uh, first the firing angle will be maximum then it will start decreasing as you can see now firing angle now you can see firing angle is also moving along with this waveform as you can see firing angle is also moving okay and the firing angle will become minimum when this waveform will become equal to this input waveform and also voltage will become equal to supply voltage so this is how we can design a soft starter using a uh, pick microcontroller and we can also design a soft starter for single phase induction motor three phase induction motor uh, and but we need to do same thing for each phase i will also post a simulation of three phase induction motor soft starter circuit uh, in the coming video thanks for watching this video